Trapezoids and its theorem. Trapezoid. It is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So if we will have a, pa a trapezoid, if we will have this A, B, C, and D, Okay, so we have trapezoid A, B, C, and D. So, it says here, one pair of distinct sides are parallel. So, this side, A, B, and D, C are parallel. While, A, D, and B, C are not parallel. So, A, B is parallel to... DC. So in symbol, AB is parallel to DC. So also, with the trapezoid, true pa din sa kanya, or tunay pa din sa kanya, na ang angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degrees. So, since this is a four-sided polygon, so the sum of all the angles are 360 degrees. So, it also, it also has a diagonal. So, AC and DB. So, AC is not congruent to db so ac is not congruent to db in trapezoid abcd so again ab is parallel to dc now the sides that are parallel Sides that are parallel are also called base side. Okay. So, yung dalawang side na parallel sa trapezoid, ang tawag dun ay base side. So, this one, A, B, and D, C are the base sides. So, let's name this base 1. And this is base 2. So, this is base 1. And this is base 2. Also, so, it follows pa din yung characteristics ng quadrilateral na 2 distinct Adjacent angle are supplementary. So in our figure, so angle D is 90 degrees, angle A is 90 degrees. So 90 plus 90 that is 180 so supplementary so this is the first distinct adjacent angle then if we will have this as 120 120 degrees so this is also or this is this measures 60 degrees so 120 plus 60 that is 180 degrees again two distinct adjacent angles are supplementary in trapezoids Type of trapezoid. So we have isosceles trapezoid. Isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid where two non-parallel sides are congruent. So we are go if we are going to draw this, so we will have our first base. Okay. So this is a trapezoid. Let's name this F A C E. So, let's name this trapezoid face. Okay. Then, our parallel sides. Okay. 
This is our base 1. This is our base 2. The two non-parallel sides are congruent. So meaning, they have the same measurement. And these two non-parallel sides are called legs. So this is our leg 1. And this is our leg 2. Okay. If we have isosceles trapezoid, okay, this angle, are called base angles. So this is the base angle and this is also our base angle. So these are the parts of our isosceles trapezoids. Now, in this, in this figure, so our leg 1, or let's name the leg, our FE, our FE, side FE, is equal to side AC. Okay? So that is one true about isosceles trapezoid. Then also, having this base angle, so we have angle E is always equal to angle C. Meaning, base angles are congruent. From our figure, angle E is opposite angle O, angle A. Angle F is opposite angle of angle C. Now, in a socialist trapezoid, Opposite angles are supplementary. So, meaning, angle F plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Also, angle E plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees. So, these are the, for the opposite. So, again, kanina, sa atin namang adjacent, so, angle F plus angle E is also equal to 180 degrees. Then, angle A plus angle C is also equal to 180 degrees. So, this is for adjacent angle. And this is for opposite angles. In an isosceles trapezoid, so we can say that our diagonals are congruent. So, diagonals are congruent. So, we'll have FC and EA. So, we have here FC is congruent to EA. Okay, in an isosceles trapezoid, so again, this is our base 1, this is our base 2. If we are going to get the midpoint of AC and the midpoint of FE of the two non-parallel side, then if we are going to connect these midpoints, okay, the line that we are going to produce is called the median. So, it is the median. Okay? A median is a line segment joining the two midpoints of the legs of the trapezoid. Diba, this is our leg. This is our leg. 
Okay? So, the line joining the midpoints of our legs are called is called a median. Now, how are we going to measure the median? So, median is equal to the measurement of base 1 plus the measurement of base 2 all over 2. Illustrative examples given. So, we have trapez isosceles trapezoid ABCD with the median XY. So, given that AB is equal to 10, so AB is equal to 10, DC is equal to 12. So, what is our XY? Okay, so again, we're going to use the formula median is equal to base 1 plus base 2 over 2. Then substituting our names to our given, so median is xy is equal to our base 1 is AB plus our base 2 is DC all over 2. Then substitution for our given sides or bases. So we have XY is equal to AB is 10 plus DC is 12 all over 2. So we have XY is equal to 10 plus 12 is 22 over 2. So your XY is equal to 11. Number 2 given, isosceles trapezoid mat, M-A-T-H, with a median LV. So given, M-A is 2Y minus, 3Y minus 2, rather, and HT is 2Y plus 4, and our LB is 8.5. So let's put our given to our figure. So MA is 3Y minus 2. Then our HT is 2Y plus 4. Then our LV is 8.5. So we are trying to solve for Y. So solving for y, so again, our formula, so we have median is equal to base sub 1 plus base 2 over 2. So our median here is LV is equal to base 1 is MA plus HT over 2. Then substitution. So our LV is 8.5 equals our MA is 3Y minus 2 plus our HT is 2Y plus 4 all over 2. Then cross multiplication. So we have 8.5 times 2 is equal to 1 times the following. So, 3y plus 2y plus 4 minus 2. So, this is 8.5 times 2. That is 17 is equal to 3y plus 2y is 5y. Then, 4 minus 2 plus 2. Then, addition property of equality, so we have 17 minus 2 is equal to 5y. So, we have 17 minus 2 is 15 equals 5y. Divide both sides by 5. So, your y is equal to 3. So, y is equal to 3. Then, solving for MA. So, let's solve for MA.
So MA is three Y. So MA is equal to three Y minus two. Then our Y is three. So we have three times three minus two. So equals three times three is nine minus two. So our MA is equal to seven. Then, solving for HT, so we will have HT is equal to 2Y plus 4, so we have 2 times 3 plus 4. So that is 6 plus 4, that is 10. So we have HT. So therefore, we will have LV equals MA plus HT over 2. So we have 8.5 equals MA is 7 plus HT is 10 over 2. So we have 8.5 is equal to 17 over 2. So that is 8.5 equals 8.5. Given number 3, so still we have isosceles trapezoid math, MATH. So, given angle H M A is 115 degrees. So, what is the measurement of angle T A M of our thumb? This one. So, X. So, based on our uh, theorem, so we can say that M A angle HMA and angle TAM are base angles. And as we all know, Base angles are congruent. So, these are uh, angle HMA and angle TAM are base angle. Then, they are congruent. So, if angle HMA equal to 115 then angle TAM is also equal to 115 illustrative example number 4 given measurement of angle MHT is equal to 3x minus 10 measures of angle MAT is equal to 2x plus 5 we are trying to find for the value of x angle MHT and angle MAT. So, again, for our solution, so we are going to use the concept that opposite angles are congruent. So, opposite angles are congruent in an isosceles trapezoid, meaning so, if we are going to put our given in our figure, so MHT, angle MHT is this one. So, that is 3x minus 10. And our angle MAT, so this one, is 2x plus 5. So, then we will have, we can say that um, angle MHT is equal to angle M A T. Okay, so then let's substitute. So we'll have 3x 
minus 10 is equal to 2x plus 5. Then using addition property of equality, so we'll have 3x minus 2x is equal to 5 plus 10. So our x, so 3x minus 2x is x is equal to 15. So our x is 15. Then solving for the measurement of angle MHT, which is 3x minus 10, so equals substituting x to 15, so 3 times 15 minus 10, so this is equal to 45 minus 10, so the measures of angle MHT is equal to 35. Then, for the measurement of angle MAT, which is equal to 2x plus 5, so this is equal to 2 times 15 plus 5, so we'll have 2, uh, 2 times 15 is 30 plus 5, so we'll have Measurement of angle MAT is equal to 35. So since they are opposite, they are congruent. 35 and 35. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell para sa mga bagong video. Thank you for watching!